Hello and welcome back and that's right today I want to talk about Unify once again I just got back and I do mean hours ago got back from IFA over in Berlin that was taking place covering a lot of consumer electronics and I barely unpacked all my camera equipment however while I was over there another event was happening over in Denver in the US at the CED IA conference where Unify was showing off, or Ubiquiti to be more precise, showing off a lot of their new tech. They were talking about a brand new 16 uh, bay MVR, new play devices, um, AMP power devices as well. But the one that really, really got my attention while I was catching up at the airport. They're going to start supporting OnViv. Now, if you're a long-time network surveillance user, you're going to know what a big deal that uh, supporting ONVIF is going to be for Unify Protect. But for those of you that aren't aware, OnViv, or ONVIF, Open Network Video Interface Forum, is a kind of universal protocol that allows cameras to be used in different surveillance networks. It's way more complicated than that, and I've completely bastardized it, but that is basically what it means. And it allows users to... Once this is implemented, take advantage of Unify surveillance systems, UNVRs, UD, uh, Dream Machines like this one, that take advantage of uh, the Protect surveillance application with Unify's cameras, but soon will allow you to use third-party cameras, third-party doorbells, third-party dual-lens cameras. There'll be a lot of cameras in the market that allow you to start expanding your hardware. Now... Why would Unify do this? Because let's face it, they've got a good gig on the run here. They have got their own surveillance NVRs and their own surveillance cameras and a closed ecosystem, which has always largely been the raison d'etre of Unify and Ubiquiti systems on the whole. Well, number one, OneView support has been requested for a very, very, very long time. It would be very easy to say that the reason people want it is Unify cameras are really expensive and Unify cameras, you know, are closed in. But I, the answer is a lot more nuanced than that. Number one, Unify cameras, once you factor in licensing and you factor in the hardware that's there, they are only a fraction more expensive, I would argue, than a lot of cameras priced similarly in the market there, at least in terms of hardware features and once you sort of divvy them up side by side. However, there are still models and types and innovations in the world of hardware surveillance that are not available on the Unify Protect camera. They have a lot of cam uh, uh, camera platform. They have a lot of cameras, but not all the different kinds of camera that are currently available due to the lovely hardware develops. And a lot of the time, and again, utilizing say Reolink here, they are, you know, a lesser brand, arguably. The durability is not as good. A lot of people think on top of that, uh, they're a Chinese brand and therefore there's a lot of question marks about security, particularly a lot of US business customers that need their cameras to be certified TAA and NDAA approved. Uh, again, a lot of that to do with the whole Huawei thing that happened a while ago. But so nonetheless, there are still innovations out there taking place in lots of third-party companies that aren't currently available within the hardware spec of Unified. That may change later on, but at least for now, they could take advantage of that. But moreover, if you are someone that's using, say, a surveillance setup from Synology, maybe you're using some third-party closed NVR system and you've already got cameras dotted up around your business, large or small environment, Entering into the Unify Protect platform, you know, can be quite an undertaking. It's one thing to just buy the NVR, but then suddenly you have to slowly but gradually replace all of your cameras. <clears throat> and let's be honest, that is going to scale things up considerably. You can leverage it a little bit, replace cameras gradually. But if you go straight onto the uh, Unify NVR system without OnViv uh, support, which again will hopefully be gone um, as, a, as an issue within the next month or so, that would mean that you would have to replace all the cameras immediately or not be able to access any of them. Now, with OnViv support, not only are you going to be able to gradually integrate into Unify by going for one of their NVR systems, but still utilizing your existing cameras that are dotted around, you still have the option later on to slowly add more cameras. Now, there are question marks that have to be added on this note in this news because what we're hearing is still quite limited on terms of how this is going to be rolled out they you know it's fairly commonly stated across uh, different online platforms that when speaking with people on that stand that this is something that's coming quote unquote next month however number one is this something that's only going to be limited to select partners we're still looking for class a clarification on that numerous quotes online have indicated that this is not going to be the case and although there was lots of axis cameras and other brands on the stand that was showing off on viv support it should be stated that at the moment the wind appears to be blowing towards 
general OnViv support, which is good news indeed. Next up, feature set and licensing. It will be nice to know right now, because again, it's not 100% confirmed, whether one, you're gonna be able to take advantage of the full spectrum of what the Unify Protect platform provides. Because remember, sometimes you have edge features and sometimes you have server level features. And whether you're gonna be able to take advantage of that on edge third party on view cameras is yet to be confirmed. Next up, camera licensing. When you look at brands like Synology, like QNAP, and all of those brands out there that aren't, you know, they're predominantly NAS brands, but they also provide dedicated MVR platforms there, they have a licensing system in place where you have a certain number of free licenses and adding more cameras will actually adhere to an additional license on board when you use those third party cameras there. They do that to kind of spread the cost so small, limited time users don't have to pay long term, but the large users that will be using it for insurance and, you know, asset protection on a large corporate level will have to kind of coffer into the pot there a little bit. Now, there's no confirmation from at least what I can see right now that OnViv, are, uh, Onviv support and adding cameras via OnViv to an existing Unified Protect platform is going to require any additional fees or licensing. I mean, if I was an optimist, I would say the fact that they haven't said that and this is rolling out in a month is a positive sign. But it's by no means a, clar classer, a clarified sign whatsoever. But those are my only two big concerns. On the whole, I am chuffed to bits that Protect is going to be adding third-party on vid cameras. I was already gearing up for a comparison between Unified Protect and Synology Surveillance Station, as these two seem to be the premier surveillance MVR systems in the market. And Unified Protect, for all of its features that it factors in, and the hardware and the great camera arrangement, that lack of OnViv support was really going to count against it. That is something I'm pleased to say is not going to be the case upon what they're saying. But we're still waiting to see how this is going to be laid out over time. But apart from that, I hope you guys are looking forward to this. I am going to unpack those bags and start my working my way through all the videos that I've been putting together over on IFA Berlin. But let me know what you think. Are you an existing Unify uh, surveillance user? And this has only bolstered your uh, engagement with that. Or are you someone that's been considering Unify Protect and you're already using a third party MVR and this was the last domino that allowed you to jump onto that? Let me know in the comments. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.